Our theme for today's episode is back to basics. I'm going to help you throughout this episode streamline your life and get back to what really matters. So less stress, less busyness, more abundance, more joy. So I hope you enjoy. Let's get going. Oh, hey, I'm Susan Hyatt, and this is Go Time TV. This is the show about creating what you crave right now. I'm a master certified life coach, author, entrepreneur, motivational speaker. I'm also a mom of two college age kids, and I'm married, and I've learned a lot in these 47 years. And one thing I've learned is that we're done with certain things, we're done with apologizing. We're done with hiding. We're done with pretending that we're not good enough to go after our goals and our dreams. So join me for these short episodes where I bring you on a journey and teach you how to get more of what you want. More time, more energy, more money, more intimacy, whatever it is that you crave, we're gonna create it right here on Go Time TV. Okay, it's time for lows and highs. I want to check in and see how you're doing. Are you feeling a little low? Are you stuck in a situation you don't know how to handle? You can always email in your dilemma and you might see your situation pop up in the next episode of Go Time TV. So I recently heard from Angela. So Angela wrote in, and I wanna read to you her situation, and I'm gonna give a low quality thought and solution and a high quality thought and solution to her situation. So, hi Susan, my life feels really complicated. I'm working from home, homeschooling my kids due to the pandemic, trying to launch a side business so I can earn more money, yes. Plus, caring for my parents. They're getting older and having health issues, and I've got older pets with health issues too. I have lots to be grateful for, and I recognize that. At the same time, I'm tired of feeling so tired. I have 5,000 urgent priorities spinning in my brain all day long. I always feel like I'm stretched so thin. I just wish my life felt simpler. The other day, I saw a photo of you lounging in a hammock and I literally burst into tears. I want to feel more like that, but I don't know how. Help! Okay, so hey, my heart is breaking for you because you do sound like you're stretched so thin and ready to crumble. And I have been there. I have been that woman hitting her snooze button on her alarm clock seven, eight times before scrambling to get out of the bed and running around, um, disorganized, always running late. I am the mom of a couple of kids. I have elderly parents and aging pets too, and I know what it can feel like, particularly because There is an invisible workload that women take on that's just magnified right now during the pandemic. So I really do feel for you. But even with everything that's going on, um, how we react to negative circumstances is everything. So in every situation, you have a choice for a low quality thought and solution or a high quality thought and solution. It all starts in your mind. So how do you convince yourself to choose the high quality thought and solution in any situation? So with your situation, Angela, the circumstances are you have a lot on your plate. That's true. But you can choose the thought, I'm drowning. There's no light at the end of the tunnel. I have no help. And that's going to continue to give you the result that you have. Or you could choose a high quality thought and solution, which would look like in your mind, telling yourself something like, I'm learning how to edit my schedule. I'm learning how to delegate. I'm learning how to become a time creator. So this is really about, in terms of solutions, putting other people to work, (laughs) whether that is having other family members help, other people help, hiring out help, whatever you need to do but it starts in your mind with, if I want to become a woman who takes exceptional care of herself, how can I move my body, get more help, create more time 
so that I'm not the only one bearing the burden of this load. I'm rooting for you, Angela, so please write us back and let us know if this helped. And for all of you watching, remember, no matter what the situation, there's a low quality thought and solution or a high quality thought and solution available to you at all times. You just have to choose. One thing that I'm constantly telling my clients is you've got to feel rich to get rich. This means emotionally rich. When you fill up on the inside, you're much more likely to create what you want out in the world. And so this means when you're planning your day, you've got to create little emotionally rich moments for yourself, like savoring a cup of hot tea, walking out in the fresh air, making sure that you take time to sit with your pet by the fireplace. These are all emotionally rewarding activities that can help reduce stress levels, clear your mind, and help you create what you actually want. Feel rich to get rich. So one thing that's new that I've started doing is I set up a hammock in my backyard and I'm taking 10 minute hammock breaks <laughs> in the middle of my day. I'm not kidding. When I go out and lay in my hammock with a book or nod off for just like 10 minutes, I get up from that hammock feeling juiced. I feel refreshed. I feel ready to do what's next on my to-do list. And it's all about filling yourself up on the inside so that you have the energy and the insight to create what you want on the outside. So here's what I'm inviting you to do. I want you to create a rich corner in your home. So this is my rich corner. I moved an old chair out of the spot. I put my favorite chair, the best chair in the house, in the spot. I have a beautiful cashmere blanket. This is where, as you can tell, my cat Moses likes to hang out to. I've got my favorite candle, my favorite books, a journal, everything that I need. Although now that I'm 47, <laughs> I have also readers. Um, but everything that I need to feel rich. This is my domain. This is where I come up with a lot of my best ideas for my business and my life. It doesn't take a ton of time. So think about it. Think about all the space that you probably have in your home, condo, apartment. It could be an outside rich corner on your patio or your balcony, but I want you to claim that space just for you and put all your favorite things there. Candles, flowers, blankets, whatever, to make it as emotionally rich as possible for yourself. Some other things that clients have done in addition to creating a rich corner in their house or an inspiration patio um, in their yard or balcony is a beauty corner. You could create a little corner in your bathroom that has all your favorite lotions and scents and things to make you feel like the queen mermaid that you really are. Now listen, I remember a time in my life when we could not afford a $37 Christmas tree from the Boy Scout tree lot. So I know what it means to live on a budget. So this isn't about going out and spending a bunch of money. This is about going around your place, finding all your favorite things and putting them in a space that you've claimed as just your own so that you can enjoy them. So try it out. Let us know in the comments what you do. I would love to see pictures of your rich corner because you've got to feel rich to get rich. All right, so let's talk about a two minute upgrade. Every episode, we're gonna have a segment where we take two minutes and demonstrate how you can just very quickly up the attitude, up the energy, and up the vibe of a part of your home, office, car, living space. So for me, I picked my bathroom because this is a really small bathroom. My house was built in 1928. It's charming, I love it, but I'm constantly looking for things. This isn't as efficient as it could be. So I'm gonna create my own little beauty corner here of things that I use every morning and just make it more beautiful and make more of a spa-like vibe in my bathroom.
so now I have this beautiful tray that's beautiful and functional. This is where I keep, this is how I take my makeup off, these little cotton rounds. I love this MAC oil. I've got my lotions, my perfume, my makeup bag, and some cute little plants to brighten up the spot. And now, two minute upgrade. Oh, hey, do you run a business or a side business or intend to launch one soon? Are you currently earning less than $100,000 per year? And would you like to start earning 100K per year and above? And are you a cool, creative, awesome human being who's willing to roll up their sleeves and get to work? Well, then you're invited to apply to join my mastermind on the six. On the six is all about getting you to that six figure mark and beyond. You'll work with me and my team. We're gonna work on your mindset, your business plan, your marketing and sales systems, and your daily routine, all of it. We have a strong track record with this program. You can check out tons of glowing reviews from my amazing On The Six clients who are earning more than ever before. So apply now, and then you'll be able to schedule a quick phone call to discuss this program in more depth, and you can determine if it's right for you. There's more info here. I'm tired of living in a world where women earn less than men, and I bet you're tired of it too. So. Let's get you earning significantly more than ever before. It's time. Let's do this. Apply now. On the 6th starts in July and space is limited, so be sure to apply soon. Okay, it's time for the question of the day. And the question is for you. That's right, you, beautiful person watching this episode. Here's what I want to know, and it's one of my favorite questions to ask people. What's one simple thing? It could be free or almost free, but one simple thing that brings you so much pleasure and joy. Think about it for a minute. It could be anything from uh, walking your dog, chopping vegetables, sitting in the sun, reading a book, having a perfectly brewed cup of hot tea, whatever it is, I want you to pop your answer below in the comments because I guarantee you there's a woman watching that will go, oh my gosh, she's so right, I need to try that. So we wanna drum up some joy inspo today. And again, I wanna hear from you. What's one simple thing that brings you so much joy? So I have a new one and it's gardening. Now, I am 47 years old. I have spent the past 47 years of my life ignoring my yard <laughs> and any form of gardening. I love flowers. Flowers bring me so much joy. But me planting them? No. And because of the pandemic, I have become obsessed with making my backyard as beautiful as possible. And so I've been discovering that I love planting flowers and plants. So what's yours? I would love to hear in the comments below. What's a simple thing that brings you a ton of joy? It's been so fun to hang out together today. I hope that this episode was able to lift your spirits, shift your attitude, clear any mental obstacles out of the way, and help you develop a go time mentality. So if this episode brought even a little bit of positivity into your day, I would love for you to click the thumbs up below, subscribe, share this episode. Let's spread as much positivity and joy in the world as we can. And remember, whatever it is that you want, more intimacy, more money in the bank, more impact in the world, it's time to go get it. No matter what's happening in the world, it's always the perfect time to create what you crave. I'm gonna say bye for now. I will see you next week for the next episode of Go Time TV. Tin roof, rusted. No matter fuck. Or making sure that when you make your bed, you have hot, no, hot, hot guy in the bed. <laughs> no, that's not what I was gonna say. I was gonna say warm sheets. Get your mind out of the gutter. <laughs>